Hi there, this is Abhishek here and welcome back to my channel. This is Dell G15 5520 laptop and in this video, I'm going to do the detailed review and I am telling you one thing, whatever doubt you have in your mind, everything is going to be clear in this particular one video. So make sure to watch it till the end. First of all, let's have a look on this laptop specifications. This laptop is powered with Intel i5 12500H processor that comes with 4 P core and 8 E cores. It includes 8 GB DDR5 RAM, 512 GB NVMe Gen 4 SSD and RTX 3050 GPU that comes with 95 Watt TGP. Overall its specifications is looking really promising. Now let's have a look on its display quality. This laptop comes with 15.6 inch Full HD WVA display that includes 45% NTSC 250 nits brightness and 120Hz refresh rate. As compared to IPS display, I have found the color quality of this display is slightly dull but if you see only this laptop, you are not going to find any differences but if you keep one IPS display and this display side by side then differences can be found very easily. One more drawback I have found about this laptop that is it support only 120Hz of refresh rate. If we talk about the laptop build quality the complete body made up of a plastic and it is a good quality plastic and at the top you can find the Dell branding that looks quite cool. At the top lid the flex can be visible very easily in the same time in the keyboard section there are very minor flex can be found. At the top section of the keyboard you will find a vents for the air intake and at the back end side also you will find a lots of vents available for air intake if we talk about the air exhaust it is available on the left hand side right hand side plus on the back hand side as well this laptop is powered with two down fire speakers that support dolby atmos sound the sound are quite loud and it feels good while consuming the multimedia now let's have a look on this laptop port on the left hand side you can find the rj45 port one 3.5 mm combo port for microphone and speaker on the right hand side you can find two usb 3.2 type a port and on the back hand side there is a usb type c port one usb 3.2 type a hdmi output and power input port this laptop do not support a thunderbolt port but the usb type c port that you are getting it support display output so you can take a display output very easily on this laptop and one more thing if you have any doubt related to usb type c charging then let me clear you one thing this laptop do not support type c charging in the same time if we talk about the connectivity it includes bluetooth 5.2 and wi-fi 6. the laptop comes with a full size keyboard that comes with the orange color backlit that can be adjusted with the help of f5 button and on the keyboard there is a f10 button available with the help of this you can enable the performance mode and also you can disable the performance mode make sure whenever you are playing a game or enable the performance mode to get the maximum performance from this laptop in the same time if we talk about its touchpad there is a very small size touchpad available in the laptop but it it comes with a multiple gesture and all the delivery tasks you can do here very easily out of the box in this laptop you will get windows 11 and ms office 221 as well now let's go forward and let's have a look on the performance of this laptop but before going forward i would just like to let you know this is not a sponsored video i have purchased this laptop just to let you know whether you should buy it or you must ignore it so if you really like my work and if you really want to support my channel make sure to buy this laptop from the link given in the description section below if you use my link it will help my channel plus we'll also get this laptop at the best price as well now let's go forward and have a look on this laptop benchmark score first of all i have done a cine benchmark score and according to cine benchmark single core score i have found 1257 and multi-core score was 13120 that is a pretty good score here is a 3d mark test score you can post and read everything according to 3d mark stress test i have got 99.4 percent of pass result and here is a 3d mark storage test result here is a crystal disk mark result and at the end here is a blender test result overall benchmark score of this laptop is quite interesting but on the ssd side i have found drawback it includes gen 4 ssd and the ssd speed of that i have found in the benchmark test it is around 3000 mbps that is pretty low score the gen 4 ssd should have approx 5000 mbps of speed and because of this reason while copying data in this laptop it takes quite long time in this laptop i have found some lag issues and that is because of the software glitch especially this application called Alienware command center while launching this application sometimes the laptop get freeze and on that case you cannot do anything to fix it we have to forcefully restart this system then only you can work back in the laptop so these are the few cons that i have really feel available on dell g15 that should not be there by the way now let's go forward and have a look on this laptop gaming performance so first of all i have run gta 5 at very high setting this game can be easily playable at 111 fps and the game run very smoothly next 
I have tested history at high settings, I have found 112 FPS. While playing Forza Horizon 5 at Extreme and Ultra setting, the game used to be crashed. This game can only be playable at high settings and here you will get around 113 FPS. While playing Days Gone, I have got at very high setting 57 FPS. In the same time, while testing the game at high setting, I have got 75 FPS. While running Elden Ring at maximum settings, you can easily play the game at 57 FPS. God of War can be easily playable at ultra settings around 46 FPS. The same game I have tested at original settings and I have got 102 FPS and it is without DLSS. While playing Gotham Knights at highest settings, I have got around 42 FPS and the game run quite smoothly. Let me clear you one thing, all the games I have tested at multiple different settings with DLSS and without DLSS. So if you want to know everything about the complete gaming test, then you can visit my website. The link is given in the description section below. Now let's go forward. So next I have tested Shadow of Tomb Raider at highest settings. I was getting around 73 FPS. That is a pretty good score and it is without DLSS. And if you turn on the DLSS at highest settings, you can play the game at around 94 FPS. While running Spider-Man Miles Morales at highest setting, the game crashed. That is only because of 8 GB of RAM. At highest setting, you can very easily play the game at around 59 FPS with DLSS and with the DLSS, you will get the same score. Next, I have tested Dead Dead Redemption 2 at favor quality. That is the highest setting of this game. Here I have got around 63 FPS. While playing Mafia Definitive Edition at high setting, this game can be playable at 51 FPS and at low setting, you can play the game at around 77 FPS. While playing Cyberpunk at ultra setting, I was getting around 28 FPS. At the same time, while playing the game at low setting, I was getting around 58 FPS. At the same time, if you turn on the ray tracing at the lowest setting, then you will get around 27 FPS and game lags quite a lot and it is unplayable. While playing Far Cry 6 at ultra setting, I was getting around 62 FPS that is pretty good score at the same time while playing the same game at lowest settings I have got around 89 FPS and the game runs very smoothly. Next I have tested a Plague Tale Requiem at ultra setting this game can be playable at 32 FPS and at low setting this game can be playable at 38 FPS and it is without DLSS and at low setting if you turn on the DLSS then you can play this game at 54 FPS. At the end I have tested Valorant at high setting this game can be playable at 240 FPS and the game runs like a button very smoothly you are not going to face any problem if you are a valorant lover you are going to love the overall gaming experience on this laptop so you have seen the gaming performance of the laptop in the same time if we talk about the thermals while playing game the temperature reach around 80 to 85 degree that is a pretty safe score sometimes it cross 90 degree for a few seconds but again it come back to normal so overall experience according to me i can tell you the thermal quality is good one we cannot say it bad at all now let's go forward and let's have a look on the most commonly asked questions where all of your doubt are going to be clear question number one can we do 4k rating on this laptop yes you can do 4k rating on this laptop but the time lags slightly but editing is possible for rendering 10 minutes of video it takes around 39 minutes and 57 seconds can we do full hd video editing yes full hd video editing can be done very smoothly without any problem for rendering 10 minutes of full hd video it takes only 6 minutes 48 seconds can we do photoshop on this laptop yes you can do photoshop but the thing is this laptop does not come with 100% srgb so color will not 100% accurate next question can we upgrade ram on this laptop yes you can upgrade the ram as one extra slot is available on the laptop maximum this laptop support up to 32 gb of ram next question can we upgrade ssd on this laptop no you cannot upgrade the ssd on this laptop as there is no extra slot available if you really want to upgrade on that case you have to replace the existing ssd available in the laptop the ssd available here it is the smallest ssd available in the market and its form factor is 22 into 30. So this is all about today. If you want to know more about this laptop, I have explained everything on my website. And if you want to purchase this laptop right now, you can buy it just from the link given in the description section below or else you can actually click here to purchase it right now. If you use my link, it will help my channel. Plus you will also get this laptop at the best price as well. If you're new here, do subscribe it and also hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching.